Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I've combined the Weeping Angel statue idea that I'm using for the adventure map with the relightable torches that I made in another video. So this is going to be one of the features that I'm going to add into the map. Uh, I'll quickly show you what it does. This is just a stand-in Weeping Angel, it's not a real thing, it's just a quick thing I did because I'm on a different world at the moment. So basically he's going to pathfind this villager in here and as he does we'll see all the torches along this go out. So I'll, oops, no wait, entity data, no AI set to zero. So he should, yep here he comes and you can see as he walks along here the torches go out. And yeah, so I'll show you how it works. So I can also change, I can also turn the torches back on again by doing scroll player set. And there we go. So I'll explain a bit about how it works. So underneath the torches, three blocks down, there are these armor stands and they're all named based on the data value of the torch. So these torches are torch 1 because they're facing this way, these are torch 2 because they're facing this way, this one's torch 3, and if I had one here it would be torch 4. But I was lazy. Um, so when the zombie or weeping angel walks past these, he sets the, the scoreboard objective for torch lit to zero. And then that does a whole lot of stuff, which I'll explain in a sec. Uh, if I go out here, these are the command blocks for it. So when, when the torch is not lit, torch lit equals zero. Uh, it does set block through box above the armor stand, sets the block to air replacing the torch. So it replaces the torch with air. I'll just open this up so you can see. Um, that's when the torch is off. Also when torch lit is zero, the armor stand will do summon falling sand through box above with the motion tag with 0 0.04 as the Y value. This gives it the appearance that it's like actually floating rather than falling. Uh, tile ID 50 for the torch and data value of 1 for the facing this way. So if I turn all of them off again, I keep doing objectives. So all players set. No, I already have it, don't I? There. As you can see, the, the torches go off and they're replaced by the falling sand entities. You can see that they're all entities now. And when torch lit equals one again, the armor stands will delete the uh, air block. Not delete the air block, they will just replace the air block with a torch and stop summoning the falling sand. So if I do that, you can see that they're no longer entities, they're the actual torch blocks. And if I do torch equals zero again, they turn out. Um, so I'm going to use this in the map so that when all the torches go out, the weeping angels will chase after the player, even if the player is looking at the weeping angel. So as, as if it was pitch black sort of thing. I've also quickly added a way for um, the players to turn back on the torches. So if I do scoreboard, objective, set display, sidebar, hold steel. Okay, so when I'm holding this, the flint and steel, you can see that the scoreboard turns to one. When I'm not holding it, it's zero. So if I turn all them off again, 
as I walk past them, they will turn back on. So one of the tasks will actually be to like make sure that you keep all these torches lit whilst you're playing the map. Otherwise you could be in some trouble. So yeah, that, that's about it for now. I'm trying to think of other features to actually add to the map other than things like jump scares and weird freaky stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching.